Welcome back to my channel. Today is a super exciting day because we have reached 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Um, it's it's crazy. It's so exciting and I just can't believe that you guys support my channel, that you guys love the channel and I'm so thankful for it everyone uh, when my husband and I were talking about uh, starting a YouTube we were like dreaming and we're like what if we reached a thousand subs subscribers by our one year anniversary how cool would that be um, and here we are like we haven't reached our one year anniversary and we are at 5,000 so that is just amazing so I want to thank everybody who supported my channel throughout the year the year but for that i did want to do a giveaway in this video i have some goodies right here that i'm gonna give away and if you guys are interested i'm probably gonna talk about the giveaway at the end of the video um but today i am going to put some makeup on i got this beautiful lisa eldridge uh, foundation. I am so excited to try it on. I was also going to try a lot of the products that I bought at the Sephora sale. So if you guys are interested, please continue watching. If you're new here, please subscribe down below. I'd love to have you. Um, the, the community is great. I can't even tell you the community is amazing. So um, let's get into the makeup. I'm going to start with my SPF. This is a super goop and I'm using the glow one. I actually ordered another one because I am probably going to run out of this soon. Oops. And I watched Lisa Eldridge video about the foundation. Um, and she was saying like, you know, you can manipulate the foundation a little bit based on what you put under it. So this is definitely a bit more of a glowy, as you can see, it's a bit more of a glowy base, but it's also protective. I love that so much. And I don't think I ever not want a glowy foundation. <laughs> So the foundation comes in this a beautiful box and then you pull this out and the foundation sits in here. Uh, there's like a little stand where the foundation, you can keep it this way, standing up. Um, this is just like a little note, but this is the beautiful foundation. So the packaging is so unique and interesting. It's beautiful. So I'll show you guys. So this is the packaging and it's kind of rounded all around until you get to this part that's a little bit more flat. And she was talking about this in her video that she wanted this to, um, you can lay this down. She showed it kind of like that. Um, and that way it won't roll and it'll just sit nicely. Like it's it's nice on that and then holding it it's very ergonomical like it's nice and easy and practical to hold so you have this beautiful packaging it's a gold top and let's see the pump okay so that's kind of how it comes out i actually love that she did something different with her packaging and it's not the same thing and so I put two pumps in here. I have the color 11. So the color I tried before was the color um, 8. And I felt like it was a little, a little light for me. So I picked up the color 11. This is the one that she wears as well. I also picked up another color, which is the color 16. I decided to pick that one up after I ordered this one. Just because I've been looking for another good olive undertone for my kit. Um... And I think, I think this is going to work. The color 16 is that more olive -y, true olive undertone. So um, I have that coming in the mail actually today. And I ordered another lip liner um, and a lip gloss. Uh, so I have my Sonia G foundation brush here. This is the Jumbo Base. And I am going to apply it. I don't have any pore filling primer or anything. All I have is that super goop so this so this foundation it's supposed to be a true medium coverage and it's supposed to have a satin finish which I've tried this once when she came with her sample and I really 
really loved it. I loved it better throughout the day than on initial application. Right now, I am self-tanned, like a lot. <laughs> so um, this may seem just a smidge lighter, but I think it's going to be perfect for like most of the time. So this is one thin layer of foundation and with nothing on. It looks stunning, um, absolutely stunning. It looks like my skin. Um, it is so smoothing, but invisible on the skin. It is not super glowy, which, you know, I'm kind of glad she came out this way and not with this super intense glowy foundation because this is probably the most true to skin um, consistency and finish. So beautiful. I'm gonna take two more pumps. She was talking about like the pumps not being like big pumps. So one pump is probably like half of a pump of a regular foundation. So in this one, I am going to spread it with my fingers and see how that goes. So that worked so well with my fingers. I think I prefer it with a brush, just a little bit. I feel like it gives me just a smidge more coverage. Uh, this just spreads it out a little bit, but it's extremely workable with your fingers. Absolutely. My fingers feel don't feel like oily or anything. I have just a little bit more. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just add just a little bit more right here and on my nose. Guys, I'm... <sighs> I'm loving this foundation so much. This is the foundation and it is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It looks just like my skin. Like you would not know that I had foundation on. Um, I like it better with a brush. I don't dislike it with like my fingers, but the way it melted into my skin, maybe it's this brush, but the way it melted into my skin was beautiful. I'm really, really liking this. I think it's gorgeous. I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer. This is the Tom Ford concealer in 3CO. Um, and it has a peachy undertone. So I'm just going to add a little bit right there and blend that in. I really love the undertone of this concealer. It's peachy, but it's not too peachy where like you can't use it just as a concealer. Um, it's a great color. I've I had two other colors, and this is my favorite. And now I'm gonna take the foundation brush and just go over it. It's probably just a little bit of foundation left there. My skin looks so good right now. I love it. It looks just like my skin, just a little bit more perfected. And I know throughout the day, it's just going to get better and better, the foundation. I'm going to powder just a little bit under the eyes, but I won't touch the foundation. It's just too beautiful. I am so in love with this foundation. I was expecting nothing less from Lisa Eldridge, but I really like the packaging. I think it's just unique and it just sits there. It doesn't roll around and it's just something different. I really like it. I'm actually gonna put it back in here and put it right here. I think it's so pretty. Okay, for contour, I'm gonna take my Westman Atelier. This I just bought in the sale and I love it. It's so, so good. This is in Biscuit and it's a beautiful contour. It's definitely a contour, it's not a bronzer. I'm so tempted to get the other color because I love this so much. I'm actually tempted to buy everything Westman Atelier. That brand to me just ugh, speaks my name. It's stunning, it's luxurious, good products, skin-like products, they're, they're amazing. By the way, I've been using this Daily Clean by Sephora Refresh. It's so good, it's so good. It It is moisturizing. I'm just cleaning a brush right now. It is moisturizing, it cleans the brush so well without like stripping it. It's so good. 
So I'm just going to blend this in and show you guys just how gorgeous this looks. Is there a better contour than this? I don't think so. It took me like absolutely no time. It literally looks untraceable. Now, if you're deeper, this deeper than like what I am right now, I think you may need to get the, the darker one. But for me, this is perfect. So that is the contour. I actually think I like this better than the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I think I do. I think it's just a little bit, the color's a little bit better for my skin tone. And it's, a. I wouldn't say it's just more skin-like than that one because that one is a blends in just like your skin. It's just easier to work, I think. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm in love with this contour. Again, this is not a bronzer. It is straight up contour, like a cool tone, undertone um, contour. Just to sculpt your face a little bit, but it's just not too much. So good. And then I really want to show you guys how the blush that I got worked. This is in Chouchette, and it is this beautiful peachy nude color. Look how beautiful that looks. That's blended out and so good. So I will swipe this on. I've used the petal one more than this one and I just love them both. I think they're gorgeous. That is the blush and it's it's beautiful. I love the formula. I think it's just um, a unique formula because it's cream, it's blendable, but it's kind of matte satin on the skin with a shift, like with a, a glow. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell I'm trying to move awkward ways, but there's no glitter in this, no shimmer. The formula is just a little bit... Uh, creamy which gives the glow but it's a matte like there's absolutely no glitter in there I think it's so unique gorgeous it lasts so well blends in like a dream just gorgeous on top of that I just have to go with this one this is their uh, highlighter it's like a, a mixture between a highlighter and a blush topper this is in Peau de Peche and the way I've been using this is just swiping it here and here, kind of touching the blush, like in between the highlight and the blush. So I'm kind of wiping the brush that I used for my contour. I go in there and I just stamp it in this area. Oh, look at that. That, mm, that is stunning. I had the light, the pink one in my cart. I still have it. Um, I really am trying to convince myself that just do it at another time. Just enjoy this one. I'm just loving this so much. It's probably the product that I'm most excited about um, in my haul. And I don't even know why. It's. I think it's because it's not a super intense highlighter. It's not a like blush it's not a blush topper it's just something so unique now i wouldn't put this like for example on my nose or like to highlight here or here it's just a little bit too deep now if you have deeper skin tone this would be a stunning highlighter and i think that's why i want to pick up the pink one because the pink one would be a true highlighter for me i think but i just think this this makes my skin look so healthy and fresh and not too much like I wouldn't put a highlighter on top of this today I will because we have highlighters to try but initially like I would just want to keep it here fresh skin gorgeous stunning product expensive but stunning all right so since we talked about the highlighter I did pick up this Laura Mercier um, light catcher in honey I have the lightest color there's also some highlighters in the Natasha Denona uh, face glam palette that I bought but I've already done a full review on that one so I kind of want to 
to show you guys how this one looks on me. So this is the color Honey, and this is the color, what is this, Celestial Light. And I picked this one up first. This is very bright. And then I picked this one to combine them. But I want to see, like it looks dark there, but once you swatch it, it's not that that bad. It just has such a bronzy undertone. Let's see right there. So I do feel like it probably would be just a little bit too dark to do use it by itself. So I will take a little bit from the cap of this one. This is the Celestial Light and Honey and I will just mix them. So I mixed them on this rougher brush and I will add just a little bit here. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. It, it looks insane. It doesn't look like a powder whatsoever. It looks like a wet, like creamy highlighter, but it's a powder. I'm gonna take that brush for blush brush and just blend this all in. I have like three different things on my cheeks right now. Mm, I love this. This is such a good product and I'm not into like loose highlighters, but this is something else. This is just like a glow from within highlighter. I, I know some people use this all over the skin. I just think I'm gonna try that another time because the foundation is just too beautiful to mess with it. So I'm gonna leave it here. I will bronze up real quick with this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the color medium and I feel like I need just a little bit to match that. And this refer brush, this is the number 30, oh, so good. I did my brows, I am loving my skin right now. I, I In person, it just looks flawless without it being too much. It kind of looks like my skin just healthier. I'm actually gonna spray this airbrush flawless. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's gorgeous. I am really loving my skin right now and I really don't want to do a ton on the eyes, but I will just like, just put a little bit on the eyes. Let's start with the light one. I'm just gonna put just a little bit. I'm gonna put transition in the crease. These palettes are just so good, so good. I think they are a great daily palette that I could see people going through because the blush is stunning, the highlighter is gorgeous, intense but gorgeous, and then all these like shades for the eyes are just good basic colors um, that perform so well. That was the color transition. I will take the color crease and just put this in my crease a little bit. Then on the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take the same two colors and just give a little shadow there as well. I don't think I'm gonna put a shimmer all over the eye. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Probably take smoke and just line my upper lash line a little bit. I don't like that one. Taking this one. I'm gonna leave it here. I really like this skin to show because it's so beautiful. The only thing I'm gonna do is take that highlighter from the light one and put it in my inner corner. And then whatever's left on this one, just slowly highlight that. I really don't like a very intense highlighter here. I think, I think it's just much, but whatever's left on the brush that's kind of what I put there. And it just it just cleans it up a little bit. Loving this. It's so, 
so pretty okay i'm gonna put mascara on and i will be right back lips so i think what i want to do on my lips is use some of these bite beauty lipsticks um maybe between chai and tamarind combine those two um i never know exactly what's the perfect nude when i'm a little bit more tan when i'm really fair i know the ones that work for me but this is not sharpened. Um, this is the Pat McGrath contour color. I enjoy it a lot. That's contour, such a good color. And then let's see, let's try tamarind. Maybe a little nude. I really like that. That's like a little bit browny. Let's take sesame and that just in the center. Maybe just tone that that like browniness. And that's the finished look. The skin is amazing. I think just everything I put on my skin right now was stunning. The foundation looks absolutely flawless. It's probably one of the best, more matte foundations. It's not even matte, it's just satin finish foundations I've ever tried. Um, it's just gorgeous. And also this Potapesh, ooh, that thing, I dropped it four times. <laughs> this Potapesh, it's just heavy, it really is. And it's like kind of awkward to hold, but this thing is stunning. It's hard to open, but uh, just it just gives something to your skin that wasn't there before. Let's move on to the giveaway. I am just so thankful for every single one of you guys. You are just so kind, so supportive. Um, you leave the sweetest comments and like you leave me detailed comments. It's not just like a heart. It's like you guys just tell me all about what you bought, like you're interacting and that is what makes this just so fun and so exciting and whenever i release a video i just wait and like look forward to your comments and i just love interacting with you guys so i just wanted to give back just a little bit so what i picked up for you guys is one of the products that i use every single day and that is this grande lash clear serum it's the three month supply everybody asks me oh your lashes look so good what do you use it's this so i definitely wanted to put it in a giveaway um i wanted to give you guys a chance to try the westman atelier i picked up the blush petal i would say that this is the most flattering on most of skin tones and i thought that that would that would fit a lot of people then i really wanted you guys to try this this is the pat mcgrath this is not the one you're gonna get because that one is arriving today but i really wanted to film earlier this is mine and i adore this palette i think she did just such a fantastic job and i know it's kind of limited edition it's just gonna be for this season but i think it's so good that i want you guys to try it also because i am so obsessed with the natasha Denona glam palettes i will let you choose one i ordered both uh, light and dark and i will have you guys pick whichever one you want um these are mine again they're in the mail it should arrive today and then the last thing i wanted to throw in there is this sephora favorites these are five mascaras samples i don't know if they're half size or they're smaller but you get a voucher in there that you can purchase the full mascara now one thing that my sister was like is that only for us or is that for everywhere and i don't know <laughs> i don't know so what we could do is you guys if you guys are in a place where you don't have sephora i will swap that with something else maybe one mascara one big mascara of these that you want to have but we'll talk we'll make it work 
So that is the giveaway. I'm so excited. I think it's just some of my favorite products here and I want you to be able to try them. The uh, way to enter is simple. You just have to follow me here, obviously, and then on Instagram and just leave me a comment down below with a way for me to reach you. It could be email, it could be Instagram, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, leave it down below and good luck to you guys. Again, I thank everybody for your support your kind words and just encouragement it helps me you know get up and record and edit it and get it out for you guys so i'm so thankful for every single one of you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye